Hey everyone, this is Henry from Tech Daddy Videos. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Seller Fulfilled Prime and how to get your Seller Fulfilled Prime badge for Merchant Fulfilled Products. I'm going to show you step by step on how to set this up right after this. All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Seller Fulfilled Prime Badge. It's very important that you guys get this. Now, the Seller Fulfilled Prime Badge, what happens is you are able to sell products when you have this Seller Fulfilled Prime Badge when you are doing Merchant Fulfilled Products. Now, you have to earn this. This is something that you have to get. You have, your matrix has to be pretty good. And the benefits of it as you are introduced, your product is introduced to uh, a lot of the prime members for Amazon. So they do see your product, which results in more sales. All right, guys, as promised, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do your Seller Fulfill Prime badge and get that. And we're going to kind of do that step by step. So it's very simple. You want to get into your... Um, your Amazon Seller Central account and what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way here to the right under settings and you're going to go under shipping settings and you're going to click on shipping settings. Okay so when you um, have or or you are uh, hopefully you have that offer it's going to be right here under you you have enrolled for seller uh, fulfilled prime it's going to say enroll and seller fulfilled prime and it's going to say apply now since I already have it um, it's already given to me so uh, I have it so just look for it right here in the middle uh, to apply for it apply for it first and and hopefully you get approved if you get approved then you have it you may re even have it already so just simply apply for it and um, enroll and that's it so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new shipping template going to kind of show you how to do this uh, so we're going to go right here to create new shipping template all right so at this point what i want to do is i want to go to partial shippings this is the one that i want i hardly ever use small and light shipping i use this because i want to be able to go through the united states postal service click ok it's going to give you a new template now i'm going to call this template for example uh Nate national we're going to go with national okay and it's approved and I want to go for my rate model is per item. That's where I want to go. Now, I want prime delivery. That's what I want. So I want to click on this right here. If you do not click on this, you will not get prime delivery. So you want to click on this here. All right. Now it gives you the warehouse and it's most likely it's the address or what have you that um, that you chose when you set it up. So I have several of them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here. And I blanked this out just so um, nobody screws around with my account. So go ahead and hit this. Click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now. You have a choice if you want to use FedEx, UPS, United States Postal Service, and on track. Now, um, yes, I want to uh, configure prime regions based on the shipping service I want to use. This is what I always use. Yes. Now, I do not use FedEx. I do not use UPS. They're way too expensive. So I use United States Postal Service. So I click on United States Postal Service, and that's the only one that I use. You can use whatever you want, but this is what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. All right. Now, the zones here are usually come up on your zone anyway. So I go Zone 8. 
um, I try not to mess around with this. And also, I want to make sure that United States Postal Service Priority Mail is uh, registered. Now, I click on this just to make sure. Obviously, this is done. But I want United States Postal Service Priority Mail uh, and the, the standard shipping two day and the one day. And I click on here, hit confirm. Okay, as you can see right here, we have it set up. If you see this right here under Prime Settings, United States uh, Priority Mail, Priority Mail, uh, and Priority Mail for one day and two day, that's all set. This is what I'm going for. Under Domestic setting, Shipping, as long as you see Prime right here, you're pretty much set. So I want to be able to make sure that my Prime is on my Standard Shipping and my two day. And they're saying up to zone eight. So it's basically saying, uh, see, the United States Postal Service will set that up for you. They already know what zones they're going to be able to send it to right away. So you want to make sure that uh, you have that set up. And my shipping fee is going to be uh, free shipping to my prime customers. Anybody else, they're going to get charged $10.99 for that order itself. Now, um, I like to come here to the next one. Uh, one right here is Prime for the one day uh, and make sure that that's set up for Prime itself. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is how you set it up. You just want to make sure that it is set up the way that you have it set up. Um, just like this. Uh, that way you are you kind of taking advantage of everything and it will tell you uh, Amazon automatically manages regions uh, within the 48 uh, lower states okay so it's automatically to be shipped there and and uh, you should get the cheaper price uh, for that also want to make sure that this is set for two day usually it is it's a default and uh, that's pretty much it guys so that's how you set it up and all you have to do is make sure that you save it at the very bottom. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Appreciate it. Go ahead and share this video. Comment on this video. Let me know what you guys think about this. And also, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet for more videos just like this. See you guys on the next video.